This video is sponsored by generous patrons and channel members. <sighs> yes, I screwed up. So two weeks ago, I published this video. Yes, it's drones again. My point on this video was that today, with the modern pervasive appearance of drones at each level of the battlefield, the advantage is with the offensive, that is, with the drones. It basically means that those who are using the drones have an easier life than those who are defending from the drone. And this was based on two points. Drones cost less than their countermeasures. Two, when there will be countermeasures, will be a class of systems that will be useful against drones, but useless against anything else. And yes, I screwed up, because I received plenty of comments, many of them pointing out the same thing. One, what about the old auto cannons, the good old AAA? Two, well, what about the drone on drone? Well, the answer in both cases is no. So I realized that I didn't explain properly and here we are again. At first, the same warning as in the other video. Money in wartime is not a problem. The actual availability of resources is. So in this video, we are talking money as a proxy for resources for simplicity, but be aware of it. So, cannons. So many pointed out that autocannons, the old 37mm, 20mm, 23mm, um, 40mm autocannon that have been used since World War II as an anti-aircraft defense are perfectly adequate for targets of the class of the Bayraktar or the Shahid 136. Well, yes. But also no, finding cost of ammunition is not that easy, at least for the costs that are paid by the, the, the world militaries. But I managed to find out, uh, and we can say that the cost of a 40 mm round is between 40 and 70 dollars. Simpler rounds with a contact fuse will be around 40. More complex air bust or proximity fused rounds will be at the top end. Now let's make an example of a system that has been used in Ukraine and it has been described as being very effective against Russian drones, the German Gepard. The Gepard can carry 320 rounds. Yes, it can fire one single round, but that's not the way it's going to be used against flying targets. The standard minimum burst against a flying target is 48 rounds. If it's firing in slow mode, because otherwise it's twice as much. This means that the Gepard can execute seven engagements before reloading tops. If we suppose it is one burst, one kill, which honestly may not be impossible with slow flying targets like these drones, if the cost of the round is $40 and it takes 48 rounds to shoot down a target, then the cost of shooting down one drone is... Uh, uh, Otis! So the cost is about $2,000 to shoot down a drone, the cost five to 10,000 in case of the Shahid. So it seems actually a good deal. Well, yes. And no. Well, we are still talking about a double digit percentage of the cost of the weapon, which is obviously small but not negligible. But then there is another problem. The Gepard 40 mm has a ceiling of 4,000 meter. And the range could be about a couple of thousand meters, but probably less. A system like the Gepard costs million, but it is basically a point defense system. When you're using a system like the Gepard to defend target deep in your territory, then the game is quite different. Okay, let's stick with Ukraine. Think you want to protect a city like Kiev. How many Gepards do you need? Probably something between 50 and 100. And that is just one target. Every medium-sized country has hundreds if not thousands of targets that 
could be legitimate military targets that could be attacked with low-cost drones and protecting them with price adequate weapons it's flipping expensive because you need a lot of them and in fact normally the rear of the front line is defended by medium and long range surface to air missiles but again those are price appropriate for aircraft or helicopters or let's say high-end cruise missiles eventually and, and actually that is debatable but against a cheap weapon yeah that's the problem that we discussed in the other video you will be trying to stop something very cheap with something very expensive and if you try to use something which is not expensive you need so many that is becoming expensive in a different way but that's not the end because today we have seen that stuff that is even cheaper than a Shahid or a Bayraktar can have a massive influence on the battlefield. All those commercial or commercial-like quadcopters or those very small reconnaissance drones like the Orlan, for example, those are even smaller and cheaper. They are extremely lethal because they allow target designation for long-range weapons, so they are clear and present danger and still they cost less than a single burst of a Gepard. And I really would like to see if a Gepard can lock and acquire something like a DJI Mavic and can successfully fire and hit it. These are small, can be serially produced easily, they are very cheap and they can be little. What can you do against those? Probably a marksman would be adequate or a machine gun burst, but the drones are not always stationary. They're even mostly made of plastics. I don't know how much radar energy they're going to reflect. You need something that can acquire them optically and can drive something very cheap into them optically again. So a platoon commander can order a drone on Amazon and be operational uh, when it's delivered. I don't, I, I, I'll, honestly, I don't think that Amazon is delivering to the front line, but they were thinking about drone deliveries. So a platoon commander can get a drone very easily and the tools necessary to defend from it. Yeah, it's something that doesn't exist yet. And mind, for these small drones, there's also another possibility. While it is relatively easy and the technology already exists to create swarms of small drones, technologies like the autocannon, the machine gun, or even the marksman, probably against the swarm, are not going to be very effective. In, the, in this case, either a laser capable of switching target very, very quickly, or some electronic warfare system that actually protects an area or a large cone that can take out all the drones at once is probably the only alternative. As I was saying, the two best candidates are going to be lasers and uh, electronic warfare. Both technologies are, um, if not ready, almost ready. But again, for every army, there will be an extra burden to have some units or sub subunits dedicated just to this kind of counter drone activity. So I hope this time my thinking is clear, I may be proven wrong, obviously, but as I was saying in the other video, I think that drones at every level are a force multiplier like no other. But there was another objection, why we can't use cheap drones to fight cheap drones? And this probably, yeah, you're probably right, yes. If we could have for every drone class from the small quadcopter to the to the long endurance drone a corresponding drone which is capable of shooting the drones down out from the sky well that could be a solution however there is nothing like that today and it is something that scientists have to work on because uh, an air-to-air -air drone is something radically different from what we have today. It's probably only appropriate that at the recent Zuhai Air show, the Chinese have presented a long-range drone that can be armed with air-to-air -air missiles. These are the same air-to-air -air missiles that you can find on a fighter. So again, we are talking about price-appropriate targets, but as far as I know, it's probably the first attempt 
to give some air-to-air -air capability to a drone. We'll see how it develops. So yes, it is possible that we are going to see in the future drone-to-drone -drone fights. For now, it's too early. So this one is still an open point. So thank you very much to all the patrons and all the members of the channel. Your support is invaluable. I, you have no idea how grateful I am for your help. But you can also support the channel by buying a model from Air Models. There is an affiliate link in the description. I will have a small percentage and there will be no extra cost for you. If you're interested to learn more about this subject, there are various other videos covering this on the channel that are going to appear beside me. Actually, clicking on those videos is also helping the channel a lot. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.